Hey what's up guys, happy I bring you a fantastic Aromash deck, wow, a lot of fun playing this game, playing, playing this deck. Um, so with the new support, so first we have Jasmine of course, uh, not new, uh, core card, uh, makes, make, makes you draw cards pretty easily. Uh, Aromash, Seraphi, Angel and Angelica, uh, not new as well but newer than Jasmine. Uh, during either player's turn, discard, discard, gain life points basically, so really good to get that quick uh, effect to gain life points. Also you can summon, special summon it on the field pretty pretty goddamn easily. Uh, Bergamot, uh, but boost the monster uh, a lot and uh, pierce with your plant type monsters. Uh, Marjoram, which is pretty new actually. Um, I'm using only one, I think, because it's a tribute summon monster. But you get to summon it pretty easily when you lose a um, plant type monster by battle. You can special summon it from your hand, so it's like a hand trap. Uh, and then you get to gain 500 life points, triggering its second effect, which is if you gain life points. Target cards in your open graveyard up to the number of aroma monsters you control, banish them, which is really solid in this current meta. Very happy with this card, and basically it's a good, pretty, pretty good uh, hand trap. Uh, if you lose a monster, you get to summon it, gain life points, trigger effects, thus. And um, yeah, pretty nice, including uh, herself. And uh, still, a decent party. Uh, Rosemary, only playing one. I don't know if I will add more. I don't think so. Uh, 1800. Uh, pretty nice to switch um, your opponent monsters into defense position. Attack, defense position, whatever. Or yours, whatever. Also, when it attacks, uh, when a plant type monster attacks, uh, no monster's effect can be activated. Right? Yeah. Then I do play two or three. Two laur laurels. Uh, I used to play 3 actually because I found it this card so good that I thought I would I should play 3 like Jasmine but no I think uh, I cut one so uh, you get to special summon this card just right away if you have more, more life points than your opponent and um, well if you get life points target one non tuner plant type monsters on the field it is treated as a tuner this turn, so you special summon it, get life points um, by way or another. It's pretty easy now, and uh, then you get to synchro summon pretty easily as you just you've just some special summon this card for free, and yeah, just like that. And if this guy is sent to the graveyard, gain 500 life points, triggering all the effects. So basically, you just special summon it, synchro with it. Uh, very easily and then in life points trigger effect. Very nice. So I do play only two. Now we are playing pre aroma gardening. I don't think that's optimal. I will cut one for sure. Uh, if, but still it's pretty solid. I mean if I do play three. If no more special summon an aroma monster, it's a continuous spell card. Uh, gain 1k life points. Very nice. And when an opponent monster decays an attack while well, the life points are lower than your opponents. Life points, uh, special summon a Naroma monster from your deck, and eventually triggering its over its first effect, which is to gain life points. So trigger all the effects of the Aroma as well. So very nice. Uh, I mean, it's really hard for me to open to attack them. He, want, he wants to finish me, but uh, if I have a low, if I am low on HP, I basically summon a monster, trigger all of my effects, and uh, yeah, uh, GG no he, he just lost. Is monster and things like that. <laughs> I gain a lot of value with that, and he basically stops his attack, so <laughs> he is kind of stuck with his coin. As it's kind of good, it's a kind of it's kind of good. If you get too low on HP, you're basically in a really good position. And if you are in HP, by definition, you are in a good position as well. So pretty funny card. Of course, we're playing three or more Aroma Garden. Maybe I should cut one. I don't know, but it was a really, really core card before. Now that we have so many support cards, I don't know if I should play three. But I do play three because 
you get to uh, use its effects to gain life points each of your turn pretty easily and it boosts your monsters as well and when uh, plant type monsters when a normal monster is you control it to swallow better or card effect gain 1k life points trigger all the effects i like that a lot oh yeah i have only one humid wins wins uh which is a really good card i, sh I, I think i'm starting to play it two in the future perhaps not three we'll see you can pay 1k life points add one aroma monster from the deck to your hand so basically in your turn, in your opponent's turn. Very, very strong. And also, if you pay life points, you get to control whether you want to have more HP than your opponent or less. For instance, to trigger this effect. For instance, really. Um, and also, if you are, and also to, pre to uh, trigger a second effect, which is when you're lower on HP than your opponent, you get to gain 500 life points, triggering all the effects. Very nice. So you can activate both of these effects once per turn. Basically, you can search, gain, gain life points, and in your turn, search, gain life points, whatever. You see? Alright, we have Dried Winds. Very great card. If you gain life points, target one face up monster your opponent controls, destroy it. Great, great, great card just for that. You, in your turn, you gain life points, pop a card, a monster. In, his, uh, in your opponent's turn, you get life points. Pop another monster. Nice, nice, nice. Each and every turn, pop a monster. I love that. If you control an arrow monster and your opponent is at least 3k higher than your opponent, and guess what? It happens a lot. <laughs> you can uh, pay life points equal to their defense. This will first set monsters opponent controls whose combined attack is less than or equal to the life point you pay to activate this effect. So basically, if somehow there are still monsters on the field, Bauma destroy everything. I love that it's a Ragaki in your opponent's sense. Who does not like this? Um, blessed wins. You can activate one of the following effects. Basically, when you have a card with three different effects that you can activate, uh, it's a very nice card. And this one is one of them. Uh, so you can either send one plant type monster from your hand or place a field to the graveyard again, like once. Nice. Or reshuffle back from the graveyard to the deck, gain life points as well. Or you can pay life points 1k, special summon an armor monster from the graveyard. Nice, nice, nice card. Uh, once per turn, though, uh, one of each. Uh, I mean, one effect of this card per turn. <laughs> Chill. Okay, but basically, you can send uh, monsters to the graveyard, reshuffle your deck, and uh, afterwards, you can eventually uh, special summon the monster you've just sent. And resummon the monster, attack again, attack. Very, very great shot. I love that. Uh, and yeah, there you go. Uh, now the extra deck, we're playing Black Roll Dragon. Uh, we can use its first effect, of course, but most importantly, uh, its second effect is great. You can banish your planetary monster from the graveyard, target the defense position monster your opponent controls, change that to face up attack position, and turn. Its attack to zero. Nice. So basically, you can Rosemary to defense his monsters. Black Rose Dragon, banish in your graveyard the ton of plane type monsters you have. Uh, one of them, and boom, attacked for like 2900, something like that, 24. Okay. And yeah, he doesn't look like this. And he loses his monster as well. Uh, Harmades, Keeper of Boundaries, because it's quite easy to summon, and um, as well, uh, you don't have many up to any back rows, and this one is one, why not? And uh, Splendid Roads, once per turn you can manage a plant-type monster from your head, target a face-up monster you can control, have the target attack until the end of this turn, and then you can banish another plant-type monster and make this card attack twice, but the, the second time. Uh, its attack gets reduced by half, uh, but still, it's a nice card. Uh, reduce monsters your opponent controls, attack twice. Nice card, I love this. We? Oui? Uh, uh, hot dog, s'il te plaît. Merci. And Archfiend Skull, you will know that. HSP, Psahimev. I have not uh, played them yet. I have not got. To summon them yet. We'll see. Maybe I can improve the um, the extra deck. I don't know, but 
but I do not have many synchromances in this account. Pretty sure there are better synchromances, but very proud of um, the first dragon, honestly. And um, well, um. Alright, so the first match. I think that was my very first match with this deck. I expect some misplays. But okay, with a back row, nothing more than very big. Gardening into Jasmine, of course. Laurel, special summon. Alright, we're gaining life points. We draw in the card, we turn the monster into a turner, which is gonna be the Jasmine. So we will tribute the Laurel, gain life points. Trigger Bergamot, the boost, and we're just going to attack. Nothing for some. But he gets a draining shield, which makes him having 7400 life points, which is more than me. God damn. So we get to use Gardening. Gain life points, draw a card, the boost, turn into a uh, tuner, chaining, uh, God damn, uh, wines and uh, dried, humid and uh, dried. Uh, search a card, search a card, and uh, uh, pop a monster and gain life points because I have less than him. Search, gain, pop a monster, boom! So basically, he has just attempted to attack, and <laughs> I got a ton of value, and he lost his monsters, which is pretty insane. Now that we have the full combo, goddamn. <laughs> Synchro into Black Rose Dragon, do not activate its effect, of course. Okay, you mid, search. Okay, we get to gain what? I don't know. Maybe, no, yeah, we could just gain gain life points. Pop a monster thanks to uh, Dried. Gardening, gain life points. Okay, we turn into a tuner. Jasmine to summon a uh, Marsharam into a Splendid Growth. Okay, attack, attack. Now he's a pretty bad spot, honestly. Now, unfortunately, I have the blessed uh, in the end, but uh, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Yeah, he just uh, his <laughs> That's what the match. I mean, even though he could, I mean, I still had a really solid backup plan right there. I mean, if I had the blessed. But in this position, I had the humid so, and a uh, ton of life points. As long as you have humid and uh, a lot of life points, you get full control of the match. Definitely. I mean, it, when you're in a position with uh, four different uh, face up spell or trap cards on the field, you are pretty, pretty goddamn nice in the game. Alright, LP boost A alpha, of course I forgot to mention it, but um, yeah, so that we can uh, special summon Laurel directly. Alright, so we have a gardening into Rosemary, we're not going to try to attack, we just want to gain life points to like set up our field. Garden, draw a card that boosts the Rosemary, and we set in... What, what did we just set? Try it. Makes sense, we have not activated it yet. It yet. Alright, Laurel into a Narmades. That's the only level 5 we have. Uh, which went up to 2800 life points. Uh, attack, what? Attack. Attack, he cannot activate anything. And uh, it's, going to, it's going to happen next. Gardening, we gain in life points. Just mean we'll draw a card that boost. Nothing. Armadies. Go. I could not actually trigger any gain life points effects yet, but now I can, so I can blast into dried into gaining life points by reshuffling back to the end, triggering dried and jasmine, of course. Of course, <laughs> I misclicked actually, I forgot that it was mandatory to pop a monster, so I clicked yes, thinking that it was first effect, but it was 
when you when you get to when it lets you the choice whether you want to activate right or not it's for the second effect so be careful i have just lost like 8k life points pretty insane well i just had to wait it was mandatory so i'm 49 so we are going to try to gain some more life points then to make sure we are in a safe position there you go 1k life points we're back to 2700 life points right there probably 200 life points nice so we've just gained 2k now 2500 life points we are back to 3700 life points basically we were at 1200 and went back to 3700 which is basically when you start the game <laughs> the duel so arena's recover up now that's the first replay against Akiza Izinski so basically you might think that it's uh, also an homage deck but I don't see a lot of interest playing uh, Akiza but uh, yeah it's in low elo so I understand that so we have a 4 set composition but guess what it's actually Aroma just wants a Black Cross Dragon I guess in this low elo he does not have a Black Cross Dragon so he has to use the skill to get it okay so we're searching very nice blessed into dried so what part of the world are we going to do? We're sending the uh, Laurel, triggering its effects and gaining life points again. Popping its monsters, but it gets to get life points as well. We're searching. We're searching. Alright, blessed summon a detuner, the Laurel. Move it. Just mean draw a card. Okay, it doesn't do anything. A tuner. Turn into a tuner, the Jasmine. Summon the uh, Marjora, my bad. Alright, we're banishing it now. I felt the delay and knew that. So, again, we're banishing my phone thanks to uh, Angelica. Angelica. Black Rose Dragon, 2400. Nice, he still has more life points than me, but I'm in a really good spot for him. So, we get to regain life points to directly pop his monster. I don't want anything. He gets to get uh, 1k life points, but I don't care. I get to search. A uh, Bergamot, blessed to summon a uh, Marjoram, vanish the monster, Angelica, which is really nice. Bergamot, blessed wind to summon again. We have 1600 life points, so we get to gain life points again. Drink all the effects. Thanks to you, mid, banish the remaining cards in the uh, river. Attack, attack, attack. Just like that. Look at this girl, it's a nice. Uh, Feel okay. All right, it's uh, it's a bit fast, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's uh, it's too fast. There's a lot of things. You know, so much. It's like uh, metaphys. One one would say. And I love those decks, honestly. Alright. LP boost alpha. And this guy is not using LP boost alpha. We have two blasts, so we're only setting one. And a Jasmine. And she throws into a red eyes black dragon. Why not? Why not? Jasmine will get destroyed. We don't have anything to do. We could have actually used uh, Blessed Winds, but I think I didn't uh, uh, want that. We'll see. Blessed to special summon the Jasmine, bring its effect by gardening to draw a card. Okay, get the draw. Tribute summon for uh, Auction, right? Okay, we get to uh, pay 1k to resummon it back. Okay, let's we'll send them lower up to the graveyard, gain 1k.
Pubby Monster, I knew that. Gardening. Yeah, we have just triggered the gardening, which is nice. Try that to pop a monster, which is gonna be the Archwing, right? Yeah, the Archwing. Bye bye. Let's to resummon the Laurel. Red Eye Spirit. Okay. Now he did not actually uh, kill Laurel. Now we have a Garden. Nice. Jasmine. We turn a monster into a tuner and draw a card and boost our monsters. Uh, Bergamot, as well as popping his uh, Archfin. Okay. Tribute something for Majoran. Banish the graveyard <laughs> of your opponent. That's very important. Synchro into Splendid Road, something like that. There you go, Splendid Road. Laurel turning in, uh, no, again in the fonts, and uh, yeah, I uh, did not like this uh, situation, I guess. <laughs> I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7 cards on the field, and the monsters were mm, pretty damn high. One day. Remember, Spanish Rose can double attack. It can it can attack, banish your type monsters. Well, it can reduce a monster uh, monster uh, monsters attack by half. Uh, attack, reduce its own attack to attack again. So, very nice card. Oops. Okay, it's back. We have gardening and a bunch of our merge. And he plays the breaker. Breaker, okay, so we have a dragon now. Gardening to summon Jasmine. Rosemary, so we have not triggered gardening yet. Now we're triggering this to. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, to trigger Rosemary's effect. Now yeah, Rosemary is the attack. I felt a delay. But um, he does not activate anything. We have 6k life points, very nice. Now he uses Red Eyes Fusion while he could have uh, used it in the, the first turn, which is a really bad move from him. It's lagging. Because he actually has a uh, return of the red eyes, which is uh, an even worse move. Okay, so we we using dried here because he got bored, I guess, and I was about to use it anyway. Rosemary dried. Now, unfortunately, uh, it's uh, chain leak blocked. So he cannot uh, chain um, a Red Eye Slash Dragon's effect to negate, as it was chain blocked by uh, like Laurel and uh, Marjoram. So uh, very easy to destroy the monster, the Red Eye Slash Dragon. Actually, you just have to chain leak block. It does not miss the timing, but you get to chain leak block it. it I thought it was a nice timing, but it's not. Alright, Splendid Roads. Laurel to gain life points, Aromage. Rosemary, uh, yeah, Rosemary, and then Splendid Rose attack. Use its effect, banish, attack again, and that's lethal. 27 plus 15, 500. It is uh, 4015, I guess. Yeah, that's lethal. So basically, Splendid was attacking twice with the baboos of the field spell. That is like quite lethal. I mean, perfect. Close to perfect lethal. Alright, so this is the deck. Thanks for watching, guys. I really love this deck. I will definitely try to get caught with this because it's so fun. And uh, yeah, I love the aromage. I can't believe it. I mean, like, uh, I heard about the support. That they were giving support to Aromage, but I was not expecting that for sure. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad 
I've invested on this decade on, on this account. Thanks for watching guys, I wish you guys a little peace.